Okay, everybody, so let's begin. So first you see my model's already been primed. It's a uh, Wolverine. It's from the first bar uh, starter set. Uh, it, this comes with two minis, which is a Wolverine and a Griffin, which is really cool. <clears throat> so as you can see, the first paint that we're gonna use is Contrast Warp Lightning. It's a very vibrant green. I really like it. It gets right where you need it to go. And as you can see, it just goes on really smoothly. And one of the reasons why I like it that even though it's super bright, once we dull it down with some shade uh, from Newell Oil, that you're going to see it really pop. And then there, I'm going to teach you another trick to get the paneling down right, which I loved, which I did to these models. And I think it came out quite fantastically, if I do say so myself. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to speed up this portion because I'm, we're just going to do the top half. Uh, and so the top half is going to be green because this particular mech is going to be painted the color scheme as Jade Falcon Omega from the Omega uh, universe, which is green on top, uh, silver or metal at the bottom at the feet, and then we're going and then some red smeared all over for the blood of the steel vipers that they're going to kill. One of the reasons why I love the Jade Falcons is that they're highly dramatic. And, I mean, they're a clan of my own heart. What can I say? <laughs> okay, so we're going to start. So as you can see, we're just working on the body. Make sure you get really deep into the crevices of this model because you really don't want to have any spotches left. Even though you could not have to worry about it because you'll put some null oil after the fact, that should kind of cover some of that. Um, I do think that it's just best to have it all covered with paint so it doesn't look blotchy. So right now, this is just the body that we're working on. So right here, we're just going to speed this up a little bit to make sure that we finally get to the famous legs that are lead belcher. So as we see here, um, we're going to start from the knee down, right, just where that... Uh, joint would be and so we're going to be using lead belcher remember to thin your paints this is a little bit of a thicker paint than the contrast so obviously you're going to have you're going to have a little bit of a easier time working with it at least i feel like so because it's not as runny as the uh as the contrast paint sometimes can be um this is really was a fun model to paint because of the fact that it's got easier colors to 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 paint and I really enjoyed the I really enjoyed the colors. These are two of my favorite colors, so it's like being able to paint your favorite things. Also, uh, after we're done with the legs, we're also going to be painting the gun, um, uh, the the same lead belcher plus the the brace that kind of connects it or attaches it. So now that we uh, are almost done with the metal portion of it, we're gonna start also doing, after this dries, we're gonna start letting, uh, doing the details of it. As you can see that this model can be very detailed if you want to. And one of the things that I, I used for this detail is called Panel Line Accent Color. It's from the Tamiya line. It's super, it's not that cheap, but it's so good to make these models pop. And the best part about it is that all you got to do is just put a little bit of this brush and tap it into the into the the little panel lines, and it just makes it go. It, it just explodes with detail, which you can't you can't deny that these models deserve every detail. Um, you're now seeing that I'm painting the missiles red. That's Blood Angels red contrast. The next for the cockpit, I'm going to be painting it Black Templar black because it gives it that little shininess to it that, um, you know, lets it look like the it's tinted and it's reflecting the light. <clears throat> and then afterwards, we're going to do the null oil that goes all over the model to ensure that it has that beautiful, beautiful base or that beautiful coat. Afterwards, we're going to base it and then we're going to be done. And so you see me using a little bit of the Blood Angels Red to smear some paint over the legs, which, as I, 
as I wanted to say before, and I don't know if I said, but the lore of these guys, these particular Jade Falcons, is that they put red splotches on their on the legs because of the blood that they are going to spill of the steel vipers, which is such a badass motif. <laughs> so now, as you know, my favorite part of the model basing, uh, this is the same base that I use on most of my videos. Please check out the description, the description box that's going to come up at the end of the video for my basing tutorial for desert. But there you go. You see a little bit of uh, the brush there and boom. There you go. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.